your question was, why can't the DC Cinematic Universe get it right? Tell me what it is that uh, you think they're not getting right. And what do you think can be done to maybe right the ship? <clears throat> to stick to a plan and, and follow it from point A to point B like Marvel. That's the big thing. Mm. Um, what let me, I was referring to. Let me break that ahead. part down because I, I like that. To stick to a plan. For all us diehard Star Wars fans, and if you can't tell, I am a Star Wars fan. Much as I like Star Wars, the sequel trilogy kind of let me down because they didn't stick to a plan. And that's what happens when you don't. Um, what would you say broke the plan for them? Well, they broke the plan multiple times. That's you true. Know, and then... When you think that, okay, they're going to get back on track and then, uh, so I'm not like a huge DC fan, but DC is what I think, you know, first introduced my generation to the comic book, Superman, Batman, you know, all that stuff, um, especially and, Batman. And you and think Superman. about it, you could, those are some of the most famous superheroes around. Yet, they can't get it right. I mean, Christopher well, Nolan's Batman films were fine. Those were absolute masterpieces. Now, which I'll, one I'll is even, Christopher Nolan? He's the one which that did Batman the three. Movies? He's the one that did the three that had uh, Bane, the Joker, and um, who was in the first Batman movie? So the, so the Dark Knight. Yeah, the, the Dark Knight The trilogy. Dark Knight series. Okay. Yes. See, and then that's the thing, because you have, like, what... I really enjoyed. I'm I'm just rambling, but here, WB, the channel WB, got their mm -hmm. DC universe right. Arrowverse, Flash, Supergirl, all that stuff. Supergirl was kind of cheesy, but for the most part, they got that universe right. Yeah, I don't. What bothers me is how the movie side, the cinematic side, can't do the same thing, and it goes from having, you know. We'll just start with Superman, Man of Steel, you know, and then uh, wasn't it uh, Superman versus Batman, Dawn of Justice or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then you had Justice League, which the original Justice League was meh, but Zack Snyder's version was, I thought, pretty dang good for the most part. I agree. Then, Shameless self-promotion. There's a link up above my head so you can watch my take on the uh, Justice League. The Zack Snyder version <laughs> versus the old one. And then, you know, you get the word that uh, Henry Cavill is no longer going to be Superman. So now you're like, okay, now you basically have to start over. You had the Batman being um, Ben Affleck, mm -hmm. who wasn't great, but he wasn't bad, so to speak. And then you come out with the one with the uh, old vampire Harry Potter guy. What's his name? Twilight Boy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's like a complete, that that's like completely separate to anything that you've seen with Batman before. Now that movie in itself by itself is good. Yeah, it was, it was a damn good movie. Good. And but it's I, confusing I more... because people that are going to go see it were just like, well, wasn't Ben Affleck Batman? Is that a younger version of Ben Affleck? Well, see, that's the difference. If you're a true superhero fan, you understand where these took, you know, they're different yeah. universes, multiverses. You know, if you watch any of the Flash, you realize that there are multiple universes and there's a Flash in each one, so to speak, you know, type of thing. And and Marvel has actually have introduced that very well and will probably build off that, I would assume. So, yeah. but what, you know, and then Shazam came out. And I thought Shazam, you know, was a pretty decent movie. You know, in and of itself was pretty good. I thought it was well played. But at the time, Henry Cavill was not Superman. So, spoiler alert for anybody that hasn't seen it. At the very end, there's a cut scene where the little dude wanted Shazam to come have lunch with him at school. And Shazam brought his friend Superman. But they only show him from the neck down. So, you don't, they never really show Henry Cavill because at that time, he was not allowed to play Superman. 
So then here and Cavill went and did The Witcher, right? So he was doing that for a few seasons. Yeah. And then the big news came out. Henry Cavill re-signed as Superman. And then Black Adam dropped. And I thought Black Adam was pretty doggone good. I, I enjoyed it. And then at the end, spoiler alert, <laughs> there's a cutscene. And there's where, you know, the, the chick from Suicide Squad, the, the head Amanda chick. Waller. Yeah. She says, you know, he's rock basically tells her you know there's not a there's not nobody on this earth that can stop me and she said well i'll have to go outside of this planet to stop you if needed and then all of a sudden superman walks out the clouds and says we need to talk and that's kind of how it ended and i'm like yes the day after i seen that movie henry cavill gets fired as superman again adam drop uh, black adam drops or rock drops everything that have to do with black adam so everything that they just did to build up this whole DC universe and Shazam 2's coming out, you know, it, and it just like falls flat and they're going to have to start over again. It's just so disappointing. Like Marvel did not have to do that. Once they started with Iron Man, they just steadily kept building the snowball. I don't know why yeah. DC can't do it. 